Meantime, others got their message out in a more peaceful way. They boarded buses from a Southside church to the Mag Mile, not to shop, but to make a statement. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross reports on why it was so important for some to take part. We need peace. They walk up and down the Mag Mile. The In the shadow of Chicago's towering buildings, many yell out a number. 442. That's just as large. 442. And imposing. 2015 has been a deadly year in Chicago. 442 have been shot and killed in Chicago. In an effort to draw attention to that gun violence total, 442 people will lay down in our memory. Many stop traffic. Stop the killing. Stop the killing. I'll do anything on behalf of my son. I laid on the ground on behalf of Terrell because it got to stop. We don't want any other parent to go through what we're living through. I'll be at the cemetery crying because I don't have my baby, but I believe that Terrell is glad that I'm out here fighting on his behalf. Next week, Pam Bosley will visit a headstone rather than celebrate with her son on his birthday. Terrell Bosley would have turned 28 Tuesday. He was shot and killed back in 2006. The killer taking more than his life. The joy of living is gone. You know, you don't have a desire to live, but you just go day by day. Who's kid? kid. Who's street? street? The hope is the pace of the terrible tally this year slows in the weeks and months to come. I'm looking for a better year for 2016. The Chicago Police Department reports no arrests in connection with the march. Just off the Mag Mile, Jeremy Ross, CBS2 News.